Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account. We're gonna be doing some summons, doing a little bit of build out. I wanna run through a couple different game modes. That way we can kind of see what is going on in this account. Now overall, I haven't been playing it a ton, but definitely with the YouTube account and the free to play account, those are the two accounts that I'm, I, I am primarily focused on. You can see right here, guys, 39-2. So we are into chapter 39, the last push that I did, um, ended up going about 70 stages, which is kind of crazy. I feel like I could do the exact same thing with the King's Tower. I got to the two team stages, which again, I have to build out a little bit more, but I'm hoping that we can build out and get a couple more copies of the Awakened version of Belinda. She is still the primary guys within AFK Arena. She is still the strongest hero. And we're also building out Damia. Now I was building out Vithiel. We got him all the way to Mythic. And then I switched over to Damia. When she came out, you can see we have 33,000 diamonds. We also do already have a Halos built out. But overall, guys, the free-to-play accounts just take more time and definitely take a lot more concentration and a lot more effort to make progression within AFK Arena. Let's hop in here, guys. We'll do some summons. And overall, one thing that I have been lacking, which is kind of funny, is these amplifying emblems. They've been um, very, very slow to get and very slow to build them. You can see we've actually stacked up quite a few summons in here, which is good. I believe it's been a week or two since we played this. Two superb elite stones. Now I have gotten, I believe at this point, two heroes. Um, only one of the Awakened heroes was on my account. And of course it was the Awakened version of Aziz. Boom, let's see, look at that. Shamira and we have Kalthar. So again, not really um, much use with either of these heroes at these points, short of the Thorn Cheese. But unfortunately with the Elite Stones, we do not get another hero. We have four Elite ones right here. Boom, we get a copy of Palmer. I am happy with the copy of Palmer, guys. Um, he is a hero that we actually built out on this account and we built him out considerably. You can see we almost do have enough to get another hero up to the plus 30. And then we also do have, again, the cores we do have the cores and the shards waiting to build out that awakened version of Belinda. If we can get enough guys, we have 109 cards already right here. So let's hop in, get some summons. And I am hoping fingers crossed that we can pull a couple copies guys. And there's another copy of Shamira, which again is going to end up being recycled. Now, a lot of heroes on this account. I already have a lot of the core heroes, a lot of the newer heroes, um, I do completely have built out that there's not a big drive. There's not a big driving force. Even looking here, guys, we have Brutus at one star. I have Solus at one star. I have Baden at one star. I almost have Belinda. She is at Mythic right now. One more copy will take her to Mythic Plus, and then we'll eventually build her up to that one star. Um, but then we're going to have to save, which I might not be able to get Demia because I'm going to have to save to add the one star on there to actually engrave her. But that will give me four one star awakened heroes as a free to play player on this account. So pretty cool to see that we are making progression. A lot of players, free to play players, um, even earlier game players want to see a lot of formations without any awakened heroes and want to see a lot of formations without Rem, which is really hard to do guys. When you look at the strongest heroes in AFK arena, sure, we can go ahead and build formations, but a lot of it is on the basis of the heroes you have, of the heroes that you have built. That's why I said when it comes to pay to win, um, the comps are pretty well set when you look at leaderboards, when you look at tier lists, things of that nature, that the teams are pretty set. When you look at free to play, when you look at new players to AFK Arena, it is a lot more difficult to build out the teams because I don't know the heroes that you do have. But guys, 109 cards. Let's see if we can get some copies of Belinda in here. First pull just yields us some resources. I would love to see the diamonds as well. That would be absolutely amazing. And it looks like this is gonna be probably another tough summon. And there's a the copy, guys. And it is just a single, but that is okay. One will take her to Mythic Plus, which means we need three. We need three copies to take her up to that ascended level, which would be absolutely phenomenal. I don't think with 109 cards we can do it, but there's always the chance, guys. Every single pull is one pull closer to having these heroes built. And look at that, guys. We're just burning through cards with just getting some resources. And I believe that is it. Maybe one more. So we're going to pick up one more copy, and it is just a single again. So that does give us two. Gives us nine cards left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use our last nine cards in here just for the simple thought, guys. If I could pull another copy, it would be absolutely crazy to see 
because we just pulled it, but that does leave us two copies shy and only two copies shy. So I'm pretty happy with that. I, I am pretty happy with the performance. Again, I know there are a lot of heroes on this account that I do need to build, that I do need to focus on really with the development of the heroes. And of course, taking her up to that legendary plus is gonna give me a lot more resources. But in addition, it is two copies away from being ascended, guys. Once we get ascended, then we can add the star on there. And then of course, guys, the stronger that you build out the awakened version of Belinda, the better she is gonna perform when you're building her out. Just like I've said before with the Awakened Heroes, since we do not have her built in her entirety, um, we're missing all the skills. We're missing the, we have the signature item skills, but we're missing the furniture skills of Ascended. And we are missing, of course, the engraving skills when we do get her up to that one star. Now, with Damia, again, I think I'm just gonna go ahead. We're gonna do the summons because it's gonna be a considerable amount of time considering right now we only get one time emblem a day. We do get them out of a couple of events, but... To get two more copies, it might be a little bit more time than we want to build it. And there's a copy of Damia. The first pull, we do pull a copy. I would love to see the diamonds in here. We're at 31K right there. If we could get the diamonds, we could keep this alive and hopefully get some more copies. Now, another thing that we have talked about, especially as a free-to-play player, guys, um, is the resource acquisition and the resource utilization. We have talked about this quite a bit and look at that, we didn't even get a second copy. But if you're sitting on a lot of resources on your free to play account, really any account, you are hindering your progression. And I cannot stress that enough, guys. If I'm sitting on a bunch of summons, if I'm sitting on a ton of diamonds, ton of scrolls, even looking at the time emblems, if you're sitting on a lot of the, um, the, the ability to build out heroes, those are heroes you could have built those are resources that you could have had from the Stargazer or from the Temple of Time to build up other heroes, guys. There's not a big need or a big reason, and there's a copy of Tresnar, to stockpile resources um, or save the resources once you get to a certain point within AFK Arena. It is far more beneficial to use the resources that you have versus just stockpiling the resources like we've seen in the past. I use the exact same strategy on the YouTube account that I do on the free-to-play account, which means that we do build out specific heroes. Again, I'm building out Belinda, I'm building out Damia, and for the other hero right now, I'm actually building out Ivan because he's brand new. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any copies of him yet, but here the diamonds have been going more into the Stargazer just based on the progression that I already have. We did drop Ivan into the wish list. You can see him right there. We also do have our new um, Lightbearer hero in there. And for the Wilders, I didn't put in Trishia yet, because a couple of these guys, I wanted to build out a little bit further, but I'm thinking, looking at the list and looking at the um, heroes here, I'm gonna drop out a star because four stars to five stars, not gonna be a game changer, but having or not having Trishia could actually be very strong with that one. Now this, I usually don't change this guys, but I'm gonna go Greyborn again, kind of looking for a copy of Ivan. And a lot of players have been super impressed with his build and I, have used him, I, I tested him out a little bit last night. Um, I've been using him a little bit. It seems like he is doing very well with informations, but there is Hodgkin and there is Edwin giving us one card on the table. We have a couple more summons in here. And of course we're full again, guys. I'm not at the point on this account where I can actually recycle heroes, um, but I'm also not at a point where a lot of the older heroes or the heroes like Walker and Rigby and stuff, I'm not gonna build. I'm not gonna build them out at all. I would rather have and use them for fodder than building them out because there, there's gonna be no purpose. Even when it comes to the tower itself, again, you have to be a little bit more cautious and a little bit more diligent on a free-to-play account because you don't have as much food, you don't have as much fodder to the utilization of the heroes. You're not gonna build them out and I'm not gonna build them out by any means just for the simple fact that even within the tower right now, even some of the older heroes, they don't have the utility, guys. The, the utility for them is not there, even looking at, you know, Shamira, looking at some of the older heroes again in AFK Arena, and there is Guineas. Um, we're not gonna use them. There's not gonna be, again, a driving force or a point to really build them out because they're heroes we're not gonna see and we're not going to invest in at all. Again, I can go through here a little bit. We can kind of figure out exactly what we need. 
and what we're continuing to build. A lot of heroes, again, because I'm using diamonds in different avenues or different resources, um, I'm, I'm not building Guineas, Trishia, um, Ivan. I, I'm kind of slow building them, even looking here, guys. Torn, I'm not really going to use. And I think I need a new mouse. It seems like it um, has started sticking. But again, th there's a lot of heroes in here that I'm not going to build. And I'm not going to build up by any means, which is kind of by design. But we're going to be at a point where we're going to have to build out someone. But with the diamonds, we are focused on more of the build into the Awakened and the Celestials and Hypogens at this point. Just a couple more food. I'm sure a lot of it's going to go to... I, I figured some of it would go to the uh, mailbox at this point, which I think some of my resources did there. So again, not saving and not stockpiling the resources, guys. That gave me 16,000 more Essence, which ultimately could have led to more levels. Then we get a couple more out of there. So again, making sure when you're going through here that you're building out and utilizing the resources to build out the heroes as soon as possible, guys. Now we have Damia in here. We also do have Belinda. Let me see where we're at furniture wise. The one, two, three, we have four for Belinda already. So we don't really have to worry about getting those if we get super, super lucky with the rest of this mythic furniture, guys, which there is a piece for Orin. Second card is on the table, so we could be pretty close, but that is one for Oren. Rem, we are still looking to build out. Amelia, we're still looking to build out. You can see, guys, a lot of the heroes in here, just kind of an older build, but Demia and the Awakened version of Belinda both, we do want to build out and build out as high as possible, guys. There's another copy for Oren. Oren, of course, guys, game changer in the in the Wilder Tower. Absolutely love the hero. He is so pivotal. There's a copy for Demia, which is our first that we actually have for her. And then we do have Rem and Amelia. Again, got to go through some of the content. We also do have to push quite a bit when it comes to um, the Temporal Rift, guys. The Temporal Rift is open. That is a game mode. You have to focus on the builds. You have to focus on the heroes that are in there. Again, the, the game-changing hero and the ability to actually go in there and get all of those resources to get a couple more cards is super, super important, guys. Now, optimization, we take Oren to three, and I believe seven. I'm going to build out Rem. I know I still do need a plus 30 signature item on her, but again, when it comes to a couple different, even when it comes to the Dark Tales right now that we have up, um, when it comes to the Twisted Realm, or when it comes to the Cursed Realm, when it comes to a lot of formations, guys, Rem is huge. Rem is absolutely one of the big priorities. If you don't have a build and if you don't have a lot of the Awakened Heroes, Rem does take a slot and does do, do um, enough damage that we do kind of see in comparison to those Awakened Heroes. It's kind of crazy to see how much damage she does put out. All right, guys, so that's it for the furniture. So we finished out Rem, which again, I think I'm a little bit shy. I was saving up some resources to get her past the 20 and waiting for some Emblems of Space. I do not like using all of my red chests to build out the um, the dimensional heroes. I, I do kind of slow them build. You can see four, five, six. What do we got? Five, six. We have a couple of them already at plus 30 signature items. I save the space emblems to actually build them out so we don't go in there and I don't actually do a lot in there with the emblems of space. I, I save my labyrinth tokens to build them out in here, so when we got 64, which we're pretty close, I'll buy more Emblems of Space. I did buy some cores out of here as well. Then of course the Challenger store, we're still building out. Right now we have Ulna done, we have Zolrath done, um, we're building out Aziz, and then of course the Dims, we have all of them done as well on the free to play account. Fight of Fates is up, which means you can get a couple cards out of there. Again, another game mode we are absolutely going to have to farm to continue the progression in here. Weekly is all done. It does yield us again some more red chests that we get out of the Field of Stars. Fight of Fate is up. And then I have to go through a couple things in here, including the Rift that we can really play. And then, of course, the Dark Yard and the Bountiful Trials, Misty Valley, and the Twisted Tales. Guys, free-to-play account. Have a lot of progression to still make. But happy with the progression overall. Again, when you look at some of the carries, um, I believe Ainz and Albedo was the point that I started this account. So this account isn't incredibly old. It's not like 
my um, FHG account where it's four plus years, or even the YouTube account, which of course we do put money into. Um, we have a majority of the core heroes, even the Awakened heroes. That's why I said a majority of them are pretty well built, which I like. Even Zolrath has the furniture. And again, this mouse is kind of driving me crazy, but we have Aziz in here. We have Matria um, building out that original version of Aziz because he still had, does have a lot of utility. Bizarre's where he needs to be. Um, Mahira is where she needs to be. Even Mortis, guys, is where um, he needs to be. So again, a lot of these heroes we have built out and we have them to the priority that we want to build them out as a free-to-play account. Now, with that being said, um, Treasure Scramble, of course, a little bit of a struggle. Same with the Temple Rift. A couple other game modes, and there is 10 more cards, guys. Wonder if we can get another copy. Those are free Stargazer cards out of there, and boom, we do get another copy. I figured it was very, very close, but we did get another one. So she's close to Legendary, which I like. Still, again, a lot more content and a lot more to build on this account and a lot more food. I'm gonna have to go through the food to see who we can recycle if we can actually get a couple more um, stones in here so we can build them out. And again, we have a lot of tier fours. Look at that, five tier fours right there, which again, Belinda, I, I've been building her out little by little. And I don't save my resources. We have all of our tier four gear on there. Again, we have the plus 30 signature item. We have everything to do the engraving. We almost have her furniture done. So she is going to be all set when we actually get to that point. But I am, again, I'm happy with the progression on here. Fight of Fates just came up. We're going to have to hop in there, get the Stargazer cards out of there. And then, of course, again, pushing the other game modes within the guild and pushing in here, which, again, I didn't do too well with the last iteration because I almost missed a week. But the Cursed Realm and the Nightmare Corridor, we definitely want to push there. Twisted Realm, we're at Diamond 1. Can definitely score a little bit higher in there. I think just changing up some heroes. Trial, the thrilling voyage, I have to go through as well. You can see the dark yard. This is one. This is why I built Rem. What was going through here with all the Rem combination. Um, also do have Amelia in here, so we can work that out pretty well. But again, I have a lot more time and effort to put into just running two accounts versus running eight accounts, and it makes a world of difference. All right, guys, so that'll do it for the free-to-play account. Unfortunately, we didn't get awakened version of Belinda done. But we are copies and we are almost to four Awakened Heroes on the free-to-play account. And we will get there with some runs in the Rift. We'll get some more cards. We'll be able to build her up. So guys, that'll do it again for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.